the Portuguese Armed Forces are the military of the Republic of Portugal. They consist of three professional uniformed branches, the Portuguese Navy, the Portuguese Army and the Portuguese Air Force. The President of the Portuguese Republic is the Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief while their administration and the defense policy execution is done by the government via the National Defense Ministry. The highest ranking officer is the Armed Forces Chief of the General Staff, which has complete control over the military when a state of war exists and operational control during peacetime. The FORA section as armadas are charged with protecting the Republic and its overseas territories as well as supporting international peacekeeping efforts when mandated by the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, United Nations and or European Union. Recent operations include anti-piracy action in the Gulf of Aden, the conflict in Afghanistan, peacekeeping missions in East Timor, Lebanon, Kosovo and Bosnia-Herzegovina, and air policing of Iceland and the Baltic states. Military units are maintained throughout the country, both on the mainland and on the archipelagos of Madeira and Azores. History equals Background equals, The history of the Portuguese military itself begins in the 12th century with the creation of the Kingdom of Portugal. The naval and ground forces would remain independent from each other for hundreds of years. By the 20th century some joint military and national defense bodies had been created but these had mostly mere political coordination responsibilities. The administration of the several forces of the military remained in charge of separate government departments, respectively the Navy Ministry for the Navy, the War Ministry for the Metropolitan Army and the Colonies Ministry for the Colonial Forces while operationally the service branches were completely independent from each other. During the 1930s plans were laid to merge all of the previously mentioned ministries under a single one-named defense ministry. However, the service branches wished to maintain their autonomy represented by their separate government departments, thus politically opposing and preventing this reorganization for the next couple of decades. Nevertheless, the need to defend the overseas empire against possible foreign aggression during World War II did lead to a significant step being taken during this period for an increased integration of the several military services, when the FORA section as colonia were placed under the dependency of the Minister Copyright Rio da Aguera, which then became in charge of all Portuguese ground forces. Equals post World War II equals. Lessons learned from World War II the start of the Cold War and the creation of NATO partially ended the objections for the creation of a unified command for the military forces. In 1950, the roles of National Defense Minister and Armed Forces Chief of the General Staff are created. To the CEMGFA were given almost all the responsibilities until then assigned to the commanders of the service branches, whose roles were at the same time extinct. This is widely considered the beginning of the Portuguese Armed Forces. However, opposition from both military branches prevented the formation of a single ministry for the military. The political solution for this was the creation of the role of National Defense Minister but without its own ministry, instead integrating the government's Council of Ministers. The Ministro da Defesa Nacional directed an umbrella organization, named the National Defense Department which included the CEMGFA the National Defense General Secretariat and the Aeronautics Under Secretariat. Besides this, the minister had the role of coordinating the ICSA copyright CITO and Marina ministries. Only in 1974, would the SGDN be transformed into a full military staff organization and renamed Armed Forces General Staff. Despite all the issues, in the 1950s the operational integration of the FORA section as Armadas did progress with the establishment of the roles of Commander-in-Chief for the military forces based in each of the colonial territories. Mainly during the overseas war, these commanders would assume increasing responsibilities, until achieving full operational command of all forces assigned to their theater of operations, leaving the territorial service branch leadership with logistical responsibilities. The aviation of the Marina and ICSA copyright CITO emerged in 1952, leading to the creation of the Air Force and its integration in the FORA section as Armadas as its third military service branch. Unlike the other services which had their own separate ministries, the FORA section and all copyright RE was directly dependent on the Minister Copyright Rio da Defesa Nacional via the Subsecretariado de Estado da Irona Utica. 
1961 this department would be renamed Aeronautics State Secretary. In 1953, the National Republican Guard ceased policing the military, with the foundation of the military police by the ICSA copyright CITO. Later the other services would create their respective military police type forces, the Air Police for the FORA section and all copyright RE and the Naval Police for the Marina. Equals overseas conflicts equals. Between 1961 and 1974, the FORA section as armadas would be engaged against emerging nationalist movements in several of the Portuguese African provinces, a conflict known as the Overseas War in Portugal and as Liberation War in the former provinces. In the scope of the Cold War, it was a decisive ideological struggle and armed conflict in African and European scenarios. And like other European nations, the Portuguese regime did not leave its African overseas provinces during the 1950s and 1960s. Several armed independence movements, most prominently led by communist parties who cooperated under the CONCP umbrella and pro-US groups became active in these areas. The FORA section as armadas were able to maintain a large military campaign for 13 years, in these three different theaters of operations, thousands of kilometers apart from each other and from the mainland. This was achieved with almost no external support, in contrast with the nationalist movements which were backed by communist countries and even by some Western ones. The ICSA copyright CITO suffered the majority of the casualties with 8290 soldiers killed in action while the FORA section and all copyright re lost 346 airmen and the marina 195 sailors. During the conflict, in each theater of operations, the operational command of the forces of the marina, ICSA copyright CITO and FORA section and all copyright re was successively transferred from each territorial service branch command to joint commands led by the FORA section as Armada's commander for that specific theater. Thus the three branches of the military were able to achieve a high level of operational integration, allowing for an effective cooperation between them, the optimization of their scarce assets and the ability to fight as a single cohesive force. The logistics side was not able to reach such high levels of integration, mainly because each service branch continued to be administered by its own government department with its own supply chain and standards. Due to the nature of the conflict, commando-type forces achieved great importance. With the war's evolution, these assumed almost all of the mobile and defensive operations, with the more conventional forces remaining responsible for the defensive assignments. By 1961, each service branch had created its own light infantry force oriented for asymmetric warfare. The FORA section and all copyright recreated the parachute rifles in 1956, the ICSA copyright CITO first raised the special rifles which were later replaced by the commandos in 1962 and the marina deployed the marines, a force reactivated in 1961. The Portuguese military also counted with a number of paramilitary forces, including the special groups and the arrows. The FORA section as armadas were also involved in a brief conventional armed conflict with the Indian military, when the latter invaded the Portuguese India in December 1961. Facing overwhelmingly superior forces and after 36 hours of combat, the Portuguese India Commander-in-Chief, General Vassalo E. Silva surrendered to the Indian Army. Portuguese forces suffered 30 dead and 57 wounded, with almost 5,000 personnel being taken as prisoners of war, these being released six months later. The Indian Armed Forces officially recognized to have suffered 76 casualties during the invasion. Equals Democratic Republic equals. On the morning of April 25, 1974, the Armed Forces Movement a Euro consisting mostly of junior officers of the three service branches a Euro launched a coup d'etat copyright tat known as the Carnation Revolution, which would bring an end to the new state regime and shortly the Guaradu Ultramar. While the revolt included several military units located on the mainland, the forces that departed the cavalry school led by Captain Salgai Ramai were the ones that managed to capture dictator Marcelo Catano after a standoff at the GNR's headquarters. However, after the revolution and for about a year and a half, the Portuguese military would be split into several political factions. By the summer of 1975, the tension between these was so high, that the country was on the verge of civil war. 
the forces connected to the extreme left wing launched a further coup d'état copyright chat on November 25, but the group of nine a Euro a moderate military faction a Euro immediately initiated a counter coup. The main episode of this confrontation was the successful assault on the barracks of the left wing military police regiment by the forces of the commandos regiment, resulting in three soldiers killed in action. The Grupo dos Nove emerged victorious, thus preventing the establishment of a communist state in Portugal and ending the period of political instability in the country. The National Defense Ministry a Euro headed by the Ministro da Defesa Nacional, would be created during this period of instability. However the minister had no power over the FORA section as Armadas, his role was simply to act as a connection between the military and the government. It was the Revolution Council a Euro consisting only of military officers and chaired by the President of Portugal a Euro that had control over the FORA section as Armadas, which meant these were completely independent from the civilian administration. The Minister Copyright Rio da Aguera Minister Copyright Rio da Marina and the Secretaria de Estado da Aeronautica were extinct, with each service branch chief of staff assuming the roles of the former ministers, under the coordination of the CEMGFA, to whom was given a status equivalent to that of the Prime Minister of Portugal. This organization would remain in place until 1982, when the Consul Ho da Revolu a Picavolt Poundo was disbanded after the first revision to the 1976 constitution. The FORA section as Armadas were again placed under the subordination of the civilian administration, more specifically under the MDN. With the decolonization and the end of the Guerra do Ultramar, the Portuguese military would change from an asymmetric to a conventional force in order to defend Western Europe from a possible Soviet invasion. However the collapse of the USSR would trigger another transformation, since the FORA section as Armadas gradually became more expeditionary oriented, Participating in several independent international missions or under the mandate of the United Nations, European Union or NATO. Meanwhile the 1980s would see the creation of special operations, namely the Special Operations Forces and the Special Actions Detachment. In 1990 the FORA section and all copyright re would create combat rescue teams for CSAR operations but in 2006 these were extinct and replaced by the Force Protection Unit whose mission is to provide security for FORA section and all copyright re forces deployed on international missions. Conscription for the FORA section as Armadas ceased in 2004. Equals recent equals. In April 2013. The Portuguese government approved a structural reform of the national defense, named Defense 2020. It was done with the objective of defining the level of ambition of the FORA section as Armadas by establishing the guidance parameters for strategic planning, reinforcing the leading responsibility of the CEMGFA in the execution of the approved military strategy, reducing human resources while at the same time improving their management and enhancing the coordination between the EMGFA. The branches of the FORA section as Armadas and the MDN. Defense 2020 establishes the existence of three force sets immediate reaction force, a high readiness force, focused in missions such as the evacuation of Portuguese citizens in crisis or conflict areas and response in national complex emergency situations. Sovereignty action permanent forces, forces focused in the continuous missions of national sovereignty or jurisdiction areas of national responsibility, including the air defense, the maritime and aerial patrolling, surveillance and inspection, land surveillance when required, search and rescue and finally the nuclear, biological, chemical and radiological defense, public interest and disaster response. Modular forces set Forces assigned to Portuguese international commitments deployed for periods of six months, capable of engaging in three simultaneous minor operations or in a single major operation. These forces are known as national detached forces. Structure The FORA section as Armadas consist of the headquarters, three service branches, and four military command bodies. Equals command equals. The Estado Mayor General das Fora section as Armadas and commonly known as EMGFA, is the superior military body and supreme headquarters of the Fora section as Armadas. It is responsible for planning, directing and controlling the usage of the three service branches in their fulfillment of assigned missions and tasks. 
It also has the responsibility of guaranteeing the operation of the Superior Military Studies Institute and the Armed Forces Hospital. The EMGFA comprehends the Joint Staff, the Joint Operational Command, the Assault's Joint Operational Command, the Madeira Joint Operational Command, the Military Information and Security Center, the general support bodies and the commanders-in-chief that may be placed under the EMGFA when a state of war exists. It is headed by the Chief de Estado Mayor General das Fora Section as Armadas, a general or admiral from one of the services nominated by the President under the government's proposal. Its current designation was given in 1974, when the EMGFA was turned into a full military staff organization. Until then it was known as Secretariado Geral da Defesa Nacional. Equals Army equals. The ICSA copyright RCITO is the service branch responsible for land warfare and is one of the oldest armies in the world, formed in the 12th century during the conflicts that would eventually lead to the creation of the Kingdom of Portugal. It is commanded by the Army Chief of Staff and consists on the Army Staff, the Administration and Direction Central Bodies, the Land Forces Command, the Council Bodies, the Army General Inspection, the base bodies and the forces system operational component elements. The COSF is the most important formation of the ICSA copyright RCITO and includes the Quick Reaction Brigade, the Mechanized Brigade, the Intervention Brigade, the Azores Military Zone, the Madeira Military Zone and the General Support Force. However the ZMA and the ZMM are only administratively part of this force since operationally they are subordinate to the COA and to the COM which in turn are directly dependent on the EMGFA. The Army includes several arms and services, the most important of these are the infantry, cavalry, artillery, engineer, transmissions, health, military administration and material. In addition, a special light infantry arm exists, which includes the parachute troops, the commandos and the special operations equals Navy equals. Responsible for naval operations, the Marina is also one of the oldest military forces in the world, with its first known military engagement happening in 1180. It is commanded by the Armada Chief of Staff and consists on the Armada Staff, the Administration and Direction Central Bodies, Naval Command, the Council Bodies, the Navy General Inspection, the Base Bodies, the forces system operational component elements as well as other bodies that help the marina achieve its mission. The main force of the marina is the flotilla which consists of the Oceanic Escorts Squadron, the Patrol Vessels Squadron, the Submarine Squadron and the Helicopter Squadron. Naval infantry is provided by the Marine Corps. Arms and services of the marina includes electromechanic, administration, operations, weaponry, communications, maneuvers and services. Its special arm are the Marines. Equals Air Force equals. The aerial branch of the Portuguese military created in 1952. Current strength, currently the Portuguese military force's number is 32,992 with the majority of the manpower allocated to the army. Recent defense policy has assumed that most considerable operations would be undertaken under NATO, United Nations, or European Union mandates. East Timor, Kosovo and Afghanistan are all examples. The last large-scale military action of the Portuguese armed forces entering alone was the overseas conflict. Nonetheless Portugal's armed forces have conducted peace-enforcing and humanitarian missions on their own in Guinea-Bissau and Angola. All international missions assigned to the military have been fulfilled without limitations. A military programmation law was launched in 2002 to start the complete modernization of the armed forces. Considerable re-equipment of the military started in 2003, with Defense Minister Paulo Portas, who managed to acquire new helicopters, submarines, IFE, frigates and naval patrol boats. Ironically one of the most important issues, the replacement of the light firearms failed during his mandate due to the soldiers clinging onto their cheap and highly reliable Heckler and Koch G3s, made by INDEP in Portugal. The present government also started re-equipment with the purchase of new battle tanks in early 2008, the Leopard 2A6 and new armored personal carriers, Panda 2. References External links, Portuguese Ministry of National Defense, Portuguese Armed Forces Chief of Staff, 
Portuguese Army, Portuguese Air Force, Portuguese Navy.